The Death Stranding reveal trailer has become a massive trend in gaming news. Theories have also been put into place to bring more light onto this complicating trailer. If you want to see more of a basic explanation of the Death Stranding trailer and the meaning of the name, I'll place that video in the description for you to watch. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to see more on Death Stranding and various other informative videos in the future. Hideo Kojima is not your normal simple person, but in an interview with Hideo Kojima with IGN, Kojima quotes a simple story by Kobo Abe, which is explained by Kojima to be a strong theme to Death Stranding. This story involves mankind, sticks, and ropes. The stick is the first tool that mankind created to put distance between himself and bad things, to protect himself. He explains that the second tool mankind created is a rope. A rope is a tool used to secure things that are important to you. He continues to say that most of your tools in action games are sticks. You punch, you shoot, or you kick. The communication is always through these sticks. In the game, I want people to be connected not through sticks, but through what will be an equivalent of ropes. But of course you will be able to use sticks too. As you can see, a lot of the creatures in the trailer are connected by umbilical cords, beside Norman Reedus and a baby. Could this mean that there's a connection between nature or the environment? Could these umbilical cords be the rope that Kojima is talking about? I like how Kojima is thinking of a simple story and then elaborating off of that. I wonder what he's going to give based off this theme. Something else that stands out in this trailer is Norman Reedus' body. There is handprints all over him. It almost looks like Reedus' character has been woken up from a deep coma, and he might have been in that state for some time. Are these handprints merely an indication of tribal meaning? According to the writers at What Culture Science, these markings indicate the Cueva de la Manos cave system in the province of Santa Cruz, Argentina. These caves display the remains of spray-painted silhouette hands, similar to the ones on Reedus' character within the trailer. Tribal men sprayed their hands on these walls with bone-made pipes, and they report back from 13,000 to 9,000 years ago. These tribes show a similar interest in the modern-day human, leaving a story to reminisce over. Could these handprints on Norman be a manifestation of mankind altogether? Could his character be in a post-apocalyptic world, and he is the last true human? The tribal aesthetic here brings more idea in the Kojima's love for Abe's stick and rope theme. Something else also you can note is at the end of the trailer, most of these whales have lines all over their bodies. Could these markings be similar to the one on Norman Reedus' body? Also the whales have cords, or in other words, possibly ropes, running from their bodies into the ocean. Another notable display that is happening in the trailer, lava is slowly coming in on both sides of the screen, and within the distance there's icebergs. Now either the island that Norman Reedus woke up on is a volcano that was frozen, and the volcano must have just erupted, or this could show a theme of complete opposites. Maybe all the whales and the creatures were frozen on an ice planet, or the planet that Norman Reedus is stranded on could be full of natural disaster. Reedus is surrounded by a large-scale catastrophe. Reedus also could be stranded on this island to live his life in torment. In an interview with Eurogamer, Kojima addresses some of the fan theories regarding Death Stranding. He explains that the baby is no clone of Norman Reedus, but he doesn't explain exactly what the baby is. Kojima also explained that the trailer is no stab at Konami in any way. A lot of fans theorize that Kojima is expressing his love of freedom away from Konami. The trailer song I'll Keep Coming by Icelandic band Low Roar is also explained by Kojima to be part of the theme of the reveal trailer. Kojima goes on to say that the trailer is representation of the game. He says that what you see in the trailer will be in the game. Until Kojima Production decides on the game engine, Death Stranding will not be in full production. In the Eurogamer interview, Kojima states that the game has already begun. I'll put out more Death Stranding videos in the future when more information has been announced or even sooner than that. If you enjoyed the video, like the video and also comment your thoughts. What do you guys think of Kojima's stick and rope theme? What do you guys think he's actually hiding? If there's any other Death Stranding theory or anything else I might have missed in the trailer, please let me know and I can go over it. I also want to thank everyone for their positive feedback in the last Death Stranding analysis video I put up. It has influenced me to do more in-depth analysis videos for my channel. If you want to be part of this weird movement, subscribe and eventually I'll send out some sort of picket signs. Probably not, I'm, I'm sorry. But you can always imagine, I guess. Thank you guys again and enjoy your day.